great risk for flash flooding except it rains three days out. The only other time, Hurricane Harvey. Uh, Dr. Nab, I want, you, I want you to take a look behind me if you can, please. You take a look down the boardwalk here. You've got the big sky wheel there. You see all the high uh, buildings, the hotels, and the condos behind us there. I really want to get your take on wind with Hurricane Florence and how susceptible are structures like the Ferris wheel there? How uh, Could that, you know, be susceptible to failing? Could big condo buildings, and we don't think those will be blown over, but how much damage could high rises sustain from a hit from Florence? So if I imagine a category three or stronger hurricane, the core of it coming through that area that we're looking at right now, I see a lot of flying debris and a lot of structures that aren't going to survive the event, okay, in the worst case of direct hit. Uh, that Ferris wheel could uh, you know, be damaged, the parts of it could go flying, and the high rises are critical to talk about because if you're told to evacuate that area from storm surge, don't vertically evacuate in the high rise. Uh, then you'll be in a, a power outage area that's, uh, that's flooded and you're going to be uh, isolated from getting any kind of help. And uh, if you go up to the top of that building that we see there behind the high rise, you're going to get yourself another category stronger on the San Francisco hurricane wind scale. So uh, you just got to get out of those areas. Don't shelter in a high rise uh, from the wind or from the storm surge for that matter. Look at the flat flooding uh, potential that we're seeing on Thursday, Thursday night, and Friday morning. That's just day number one. Okay, this is just the beginning of the event. This is the area that the Weather Prediction Center has highlighted, very likely flat flooding, but that's just through Friday morning. Then when we look out many days, this is going to be a multiple day event of rainfall. And then even after the rain stops, you could get tremendous flooding from the rivers. 10 to 20 inches, isolated amounts up to 30 could fall in numerous spots in the dark green here. And the area surrounding that flash flooding is possible with slow moving outer bands. So we've got to take this seriously, Mike. We don't know where, who's gonna get the worst. We gotta stay off the road during this event. Uh, it's, it's how we get ourselves in trouble is when we're in our cars sometimes and we're trying to navigate through water. It's a recipe for disaster. Folks, coming up just minutes from now, expecting the latest update